वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर नंबर वन दैट इज पीएलसी यूनिट नंबर फाइव नाउ दिस पीएलसी स्टैंड फॉर प्रोग्रामेबल लॉजिक कंट्रोलर प्रोग्राम दैट वी फीड टू दिस पीएलसी एंड दिस विल यूज इट्स लॉजिक दिस सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज ऑलरेडी फेड बाय सम मैन्युफैक्चरर और कंपनी इन पीएलसी सो यूजिंग दैट लॉजिक this will read your program and ultimately this will control some variable parameter in the process that way some automated process is managed by plc actually plc is nothing but a electronic circuit using programmable ic and uh, whatever we feed to this whatever we program to this ic so this will control accordingly this plc uh, was designed especially keeping mechanical engineers in mind who are not comfortable with c uh, or c++ language of software this plc is made in such a way that this is rugged in nature not affected by a harsh atmosphere or conditions in industry so this is not affected by vibrations or a heat or a moisture or a steam in atmosphere and uh, this plc is uh, made in such a way that any engineer can program uh, this plc because we use only a few symbols for programming our plc now as i told you plc is nothing but a uh, one advanced electronic circuit Uh, if i compare with the old technology in uh, olden time where if i wanted to control 15 machines uh, i will need 15 controllers in that case but uh, if i talk about plc one plc can control so many machines at a time just, for example uh, just as uh, if we have some power plant uh, power plant is generally spread in few acres of land and uh, in uh, when when power plant is producing some power lot of sub systems are working at a time and as a result power is produced so we do have a cooling towers and uh, coal handling systems and ash handling system at different places so all are controlled by single plc pump or cooling tower may be much away from the control room but there also using some sensors and transducers plc is able to control the operation of a cooling tower much away from control room now in old technology uh, they uh, actually automation was started by ford motors in uh, assembly line of their uh, four wheelers so there they developed this automation using hard wired relay logic so a uh, lot of wires were used and relays were used and cam and uh, switches were used to develop hard wired relay logic now in that logic if uh, product nature changes or model of vehicle changes they used to change whole wire or rewiring were done and you know uh, that took lot of time but if i uh, in present time if i am using plc and if nature of product or nature of operation changes in that case i will make few changes in the program and uh, automatically the, those changes are incorporated in the working of plc so plc uh, in plc if uh, nature of product changes only you need to change the program and not the uh, setup of the that product we can easily skip some operations or we can add easily some operation in uh, some running process now as technology has advanced cost of plc has come down like anything few years back that is in 90s when uh, plc was developed actually alan bradley was the pioneer of this uh, invention or a plc at the time the uh, simplest plc was costing nearly 1 lakh rupee now now cost has come down to uh, almost 15000 rupees now uh, if i talk about other advantages of plc now uh, if i have plc i will develop some uh, program using ladder logic and i can uh, run that program on monitor rather than actually assembling the assembly line and trying whether my program is perfect or not 
So if I have uh, developed some ladder diagram for uh, some uh, automated process, I will have a trial run on monitor. And if everything is okay, uh, PLC will uh, give us a signal. And if there's some flaw is there in the uh, even in program or in uh, some process there, this will indicate you okay, where is the fault and uh, what should be done. So that is possible. Pilot run is possible, which was not possible uh, in old technology. Now, uh, every PLC is provided with small window where uh, what is happening inside this PLC is displayed just like a monitor. So every PLC has uh, some input uh, output devices and power supply is built in in the PLC and uh, some window is there for displaying the uh, latest status of uh, any operation in PLC. PLC is programmed with uh, ladder logic or ladder diagram and uh, this is a highly reliable uh, in nature and uh, hardly this requires any maintenance. And if I have PLC, just by pressing one button, we can uh, uh, have a printout of uh, the process and uh, the parameters in that process. And uh, definitely, as I told you, ease of change of uh, program is there in PLC. We can make some changes in the ring program. Now, if I talk about the disadvantages of PLC, so as this is comparatively newer technology, so many laborers are reluctant to adopt this because, you know, uh, if a PLC is uh, added in some process, so monopoly of uh, some trained worker uh, is challenged and as a result, uh, they are uh, mentally reluctant to uh, adopt this technology. And uh, more so if uh, nature of product is same, just as if I talk about uh, some lathe machine, on lathe machine always a uh, gudgeon pin is manufactured and uh, for coming six months this will remain as it is. So in that case, if nature of product is fixed, so in that case I should not use PLC because that will be a waste of money or a waste of, uh, that pr process will become very costly. So in uh, uh, where uh, nature of product is uh, same or remains same, their PLC is not recommended. One more thing, fail safe operation. Now PLC should be programmed in such a way that when some process is going on and uh, suppose power supply fails and after some time power supply is restored. So in that case, system should not start on its own. This should be programmed in such a way that uh, this should be started manually when power supply is restored. So keeping this in mind, definitely some basic knowledge of electrical and electronics is definitely required for operating any PLC.